In this chapter, we want to cover some of the more commonly used features in the setup menu of the console. So let's go ahead and go into setup. I'm going to push setup now. Uh, there's actually quite an extensive list of things you can do here. We're just going to highlight a few of the more commonly used ones. But first, I want to show you what you're looking at here in your setup display. Uh, obviously, you have your, your 15 options at this point. Uh, you have your command prompt telling you to select your number. But very important here, you also have the type of console you're running and its software version. So that's something to note down here in the lower right hand corner. It also uh, will display the current date and time of your console. So this is where uh, you want to look for that type of information. Uh, only a few of the menus uh, will need to be accessed. Everything else pretty much comes from the factory preset. Uh, and there won't be a lot that you'll have to change in here unless you get into some advanced programming. But let's look at uh, first uh, number one, which is system settings. So I'm going to hit one, enter. Uh, this is where you can do a lot of the customization of your desk uh, to, to meet the needs of your space. Things like setting how many dimmers you have, how many channels you want to be using uh, if you're not using the full capacity of the desk. Uh, your default fade times, if you remember when we recorded cues, it defaulted to um, five seconds um, or uh, whatever you happen to have it set. We have it set here for three, so that would, if we recorded any new cues, it would uh, change to three. To change any of these items in here, I can go into that number, say my default fade time, and I could say enter the default up fade time, and maybe I want to make that six seconds. Um, and my uh, down time is going to be the same, so six, enter. And now I've just changed the default. So any new cue that I write now will have a fade time of six seconds. Uh, also in this display, uh, remember we can set our uh, blackout key and grandmaster. We can turn them on and off. Um, and we can also set our scene mode for those express consoles that have two scene preset capability. Uh, item number 15 will give you the option for scene mode. But for the most uh, part, when you set your options in this display, in the system settings display, uh, it'll be kind of like a set and forget it. You'll just set it up and then um, you won't really have to go back to that. One other thing to note about the setup uh, display is that soft key 8 is always going to be returned. That's going to back you out one level from where you were before. So when I'm finished with my system settings, I can hit soft key 8, which will back me out to the main menu, and now I'm back into setup. Uh, the other area we want to look at is uh, disk functions. Uh, again, this is where we can write and read show files to and from our floppy disk uh, using the commands there. I'm going to S8 out of this. Um, back to my main menu. The other area that you'll use most commonly will be uh, option number four, or clear functions. In clear functions, this is where I have my clear show command, which is option number one. I also have my reset patch one-to-one, -one, which is option number nine, and that all-important reset system down here in soft key one, which gives us, uh, again, the ability to clear out, the show, uh, clear out the console before I start a new show. So I'm going to soft key eight out of that. And the last uh, area that we want to cover in the setup menu uh, for this uh, chapter is here in clock functions, number 14. This is the area where you can actually set the date and the time and your daylight savings and other uh, settings related to the clock in the console is all done there in option number 14. And remember to hit S8 to return back out to your setup menu to access something else. And that is the overview of the setup menu on the Express Console.